This is a 1960 Rambler cross country custom station wagon. Six cylinder, 196 cubic inch overhead with a push button automatic transmission. This is one of those cars that um, uh, I found out in a field parked for years and left there to waste away. I could see that it was extremely straight, original, untouched, but quite weathered where it sat. You can see that um, the sticker on the back is 1968. There was actually one or two stickers over that. So about 1970, 71 is when it was last driven. That Santa Rosa, California license plate frame is from the GK Hart Rambler dealer that was in Santa Rosa. This car was actually uh, bought new in Santa Rosa. That's where I found it, in the backyard of the original owner who had passed away. The family just uh, put the car out there and there it sat until I uh, came and rescued it, basically. So, from what I understand, the car wouldn't start. And uh, so they just pushed it out of the way and basically forgot about it. The um, reason it wouldn't start is because the push button uh, control has a override switch so that when the engine's running, you push the neutral button and it won't engage the starter. So the engine has to be turned off for you to push the button to actually crank the engine. Okay, needs a little more explanation. So I'm gonna turn the key on, and now I'll push the button. Okay, see now I can push the button with the engine running and nothing happens. That's because of that switch. Now if that switch goes bad, you won't get any control at all, or yeah, in other words, it won't start, won't do anything. This car was ordered new with radio delete. I found an original Rambler radio. I've got it down there that can be put in. But sitting out there in the field for so long, uh, in the heat of Northern California, um, it dried out the upholstery. You can see what the upholstery pattern used to be. Well, it still is actually. And uh, of course, this uh, material's quite dry and brittle. Um, that's available from um, SMS upholstery fabrics up in Oregon. So I'm wondering what next to do. My upholstery guy says we can clean up the door panels and save them. Pretty cool. Um, original, like I say, a very original car, untouched, not restored ever, not repainted, not damaged, all original metal. If you go over this entire car, you'll find uh, a small dent right there. And uh, let me see, was there another one? Yeah, I think there's a little something in the roof. Yeah, there's a little scrape here, but that's all surface and paint. And I remember one, yeah, here it is right here right there now rust no there's no rust in the car um, other than the mud daubers had made a nest up in the door they were able to get down inside here and fill that full of mud and created a nest that caused this in the door there's zero rust in this car other than that problem right there from the car being exposed to uh, the critters out in the wild. So you can see the uh, sill plates. You know, it, there's not any wear from somebody getting in and out of the car, um, but it's just the, the uh, exposure and time that uh, has kind of got to it. Um, this has the, the seat 
that folds down into a flat space or a bed, um, you'll see that the uh, hooks are in place, or the steady rests here for when you fold the seats down so it rests on there, gives it some support. Um, original carpet in the back, original spare jack, everything is in place back here. Uh, looking at the car, the weather strips and all of the rubber parts, you see they're in really great shape. This rubber, although it's kind of starting to split here, is still uh, fairly pliable. Not all brittle and broken and gone. It's all there. Underneath here, that's the spare tire door here. You take this off and you can see the tires in there. I have not cleaned the car. I blew it off with the air a little bit and that's about it. Close the tailgate. Let's go around the front here. These are the kind of cars that are worth saving. Um, the cost to repaint, well, that depends on just how far you want to go. Okay, now the engine. The engine that was uh, in here had been sitting so long, the pistons were stuck. And I had this other engine that was a rebuilt engine. Um, so obviously it was the quickest thing to do, easiest to just go ahead and put this engine in there. But uh, all under the hood, that's original paint, original wiring, original, original everything. Has the optional windshield washer squirter, which is the little uh, bellows plunger on the floor that you pump with your foot. That's the original radiator, doesn't leak. Um, what can I say? <laughs> um, after I found this car, a few um, months later, up popped another 60 Rambler station wagon that had been a, um, a restoration project, father-son kind of a thing. And unfortunately, that car was um, T-boned. It was hit in the driver's side passenger door and bent the car pretty bad. So I bought that car because they had all new suspension pieces, shocks, brakes, many new mechanical pieces on that car that uh, are exactly the same as what this car needed after this car sitting so long. So all those pieces transferred over to this car. That car was a three-speed manual transmission and uh, so it had a little bit different engine and transmission. The crankshafts in these cars are different between manual and automatic. So to have changed that other engine over to the automatic would have had to have some machine work done on the back of the crankshaft to make it work. So no point in that when I had this other engine that was already rebuilt, ready to go, just set it in there. Um, so now what to do? Well, um, you know that I restored the 61 Rambler American convertible for Cindy and uh, this car is a total different body style and year. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a station wagon. So that's why I picked this one up. But mean, in the meantime, I have found a Rambler American station wagon that I think will become the next station wagon project. So this wagon is gonna go up for sale. Oh yeah, this has got a locking cap. That was actually a, an original option. I've got the key, of course. But here's the, uh, here's the car, 1960 Rambler Cross Country Custom Station Wagon. And uh, yes, it's, uh, it's for sale. Yes, it's drivable. Pretty cool little car.
There you are. Hope you like the Rambler. Thanks for watching.